Okay, I'm about to start batching. And, um, at Smithfield, I'm in the middle of Kentucky, so there is not a very, what's the word? There's not many hotel options. So the question is, is a $50 hotel good enough when you're on the road? Is it good enough? Usually I say somewhere that has room service and stuff like that, but you know what? We're gonna take a look at a $50 hotel for a trucker and see what we think of it. I'm not gonna lie. My average hotel cost is about 220 to 280 and that's usually when I uh, when I stop and I say you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna treat myself a couple of the requirements that I usually need for a hotel a I need it to be I need room service that's not a that's not an option that has to be there I gotta have room service I um I want it to be close to things that I like to do. I would make sure it's close to a place for me to buy anything that I need for my channel. Uh, usually in a general good area that has a camera store because camera stores are never in a rural area or a uh, urban area. It's usually always in an affluent area. So I, I find myself, you know, spending two or three days at 250 to $300 a pop. And it is what it is. Like I don't really, like, I would've did that tonight, but here, there are no options like that. You know, I'm in, in Garrison, Kentucky. And if they are, they're further away than I feel like driving. So I am going to try out a $50 hotel. If this experience is to my liking, I'll be able to save some money. I mean, I won't have the room service and, you know, them bringing food and great coupon to my room, but I'll be able to save a decent amount of money and I will be able to additionally do more hotel stays. Now hotel stays for me are a little bit different. I get a lot of work done. I do not like to do the I don't like to do the whole um sitting in the truck and, and trying to be on the laptop on the bed. I don't like doing that. I like sitting at a desk and being able to knock a lot of things out at one time. So a hotel stay, it really pays for itself because I get a lot of stuff done in one like in one time. Like now I'm going here since they don't have my stuff ready. I'm gonna go in here, be well lit. I'm gonna batch five videos and um, get them all prepared to set up for editing. If I get the gumption and feel like uh, sitting up and editing for a while, I may edit all of them tonight. Get all that work done, put it on upload, fall asleep, wake up, they should be uploaded if the signal here is really good enough. And and it, 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 it's worth it for me. So uh, for you to use a hotel, if you're, just a regular, if you're a regular driver and you don't do all the crap I do online and all the editing and all this stuff, you don't do that, you may not care, you stay in your truck. But to me, it's more than just sleeping in a, uh, sleeping in the bed I get a lot of work done which in turn pays me so yeah to me it, I feel that it is uh, worth it so the um, hotel that we are going to premiere today is the super 8 and we're gonna see it's for truckers it's usually is $70 but if you tell them that you're a trucker they drop the price to 50 bucks Wow okay now first of all when he told me that I was like hold on that's great I, I like that so we, I want to see if this is worth staying here because if not I'm gonna be staying at super 8s and I mean, one day at a hotel I usually stay at is four days at a Super 8. So let's see if it's worth it. First of all, I gotta get everything ready in the back, get my uh, change of clothes and make sure my laptop and my camera stuff is all coming with me. And then we can zip in there and we can take a look at this room in depth. Okay, I'm gonna try the Super 8. It's not the embassy, but uh, I'll make it work. Let's see if the $50 hotel it's to our liking, Strucker. And make sure y'all comment at the bottom and let me know, yay, I would do that, or nay, I would never do that. Strike one. They don't have an elevator. What? I gotta carry this stuff upstairs. That's strike one, Super 8. It's the laundromat, plus ice area, right in the hallway. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm in the room. I'm not too 
angry at it. I mean, we'll take a look around and see how we feel. The no stairs thing, uh, but I know that's not to all Super 8s or anything like that, but major downfall to the one here in Garrison, um, Kentucky. Gotta have elevator people, come on. That's, that's like, they figured that out in 1890. Okay, let me, let me, let me let y'all take a look around. Jeanette, kinda. It's clean. Doesn't smell. Got a little freezer in here. 50 bucks, you can't be too mad, right? Or comment at the bottom, let me know what y'all thinking so far. I guess they feel like, look, dude, y'all have phones, so why are we keep putting phones in y'all rooms? A lot of space gap in between there. But, you know, I'm not gonna be picky. Bed is king size. Eh, it's doable. Art. Fine art. <laughs> if you want to call it that. This is the working station. And this is the most important part of why I get hotels. Get in here, get a lot of work done. Y'all tell me if this is good enough for 50 bucks, which one would you pick? The $200 a night, like I usually do, or save the money and go for the 50 bucks? Is this good enough, okay? Y'all let me know. And also comment and tell me what, what are the deal breakers y'all seen in this video? There's no continental breakfast here either, just to throw that out there, but they got truck parking. 